Hey everybody, Captain Jack here with another video brought to you by the Minecrafters. This video is actually the first video I've done of a nuclear reactor setup that's actually on a Tekkit Light server that we've been playing on. I experimented a lot outside of the server trying to come up with a reactor that would fit our needs. And I actually used the reactor from my last video in this base here. In the first video that I made, I said I was going to build a reactor on top of our base so it would be less uh, risky, I guess for explosion, but I don't think this one's going to explode at all. This is the outside of our setup here, and uh, hopefully me and Ingram will take you through a, a walkthrough of what we've done so far with this with this base and how far we've progressed. Um, there's Chief Diesel and Ingram are in the nether. I don't know what they're doing. Um, over there is our HV Solar Array Factory that we, we created in Tech at Light with no condensers. Hopefully that will be an interesting video to show you guys. Uh, but right now I just want to show you the reactor that I have set up. It's fully functional, very safe, and it provides a ton of power. This is our crafting room here. With our mob zapper keeps us safe. I rage quit a few days ago because Creeper blew up a bunch of machines up top because we ran out of power. Um, let's look up here. We'll go upstairs. Since this is where the reactor is. There we go. Don't poop on the floor. And this is it. This is eight reactors jammed into one room. The reactors are all named. There we go. There we go. And this is the wiring setup that we chose to go with to keep this thing running safe. Now that light just flipped off. And what that actually means is we're getting a signal. No, that doesn't mean we're getting a signal. Um, that just means we're in the cooldown portion, which I showed in an earlier video of the reactor stage. Now, since we do have an HV solar array factory, and we do have tons of EU pumping in from, I think we're up to over 20 HV solar arrays right now, we have a lot of power, but we ran into one big problem. Our machines grind to a halt when it's nighttime. So what we've done is actually fairly brilliant, I have to say. We've hooked this thing up to a light sensor outside that sends a redstone signal through this netherrack jacketed red wire. And it's up there somewhere, and I can show you that later. It sends a signal through there when it's nighttime to power on. And when that signal goes through, it hits this uh, AND gate here, and that AND gate here hooked up to these state cells, and we have an on-off cycle shown through these red lamps, and it only powers these reactors during the night. Now these reactors say they have a 2 hour, 46 minute cycle, and that's not very long. These quad uranium cells are intensely resource, um, they're very expensive to make, and they require tons and tons and tons of copper. Quite frankly, I'm sick of making them. But we want this to last a lot longer than 2 hours and 46 seconds. So I jacked up the timer interval for the cooldown phase to 30 seconds. And again, this reactor, just like the last one I made, runs for 10 seconds at a clip. But it also only runs at night. So we're getting a lot more time out of these reactors than we would get if we just ran through the normal 40-second cycle. And I can show you in a minute when it turns nighttime how these things power up and what kind of EU they pump out. So let's take a look at our mass fabricators down here. And this is where we condense everything into blocks. Uh, here's one of the mass fabricators hidden here. And it's moving pretty quick. We're going, we're making uh, an EU just about every 10 seconds, maybe a little bit less. And our doesn't look like our scrap machines are keeping up. I have no idea why. Maybe we need a few more of these things. This is <laughs> this is another video tutorial in itself. Um, we have a lot of recyclers here trying to keep up with our mass fab, keeping the amp amplifier up and running. But this is the mass fab running during the day. It's making UU matter at an extremely high rate, which is one of the key end game resources that you're going to need in order to be wildly successful. So power during the night. I'm going to wait until it's nighttime, and we're going to take a look at these reactors. 
and see how they do at night, see them powered up and running. Um, we're using HV cable because we found that it transfers a ton more EU than, oh, I'm sorry, we're using 4X insulated wire because it transfers a lot more than HV cable. Now, it may lose more th the longer it goes, but we're not going very far here, and because it transfers so much power, uh, we chose to use the, H the 4X insulated cable over the HV. So let's wait until it's nighttime here. We'll see these reactors powered up, and we'll see how we can manually turn them on and off. Okay, so here we are. It's nighttime. The reactors are all off, and this is in its on setting. But the reactors are still not on. Um, in the other video that I made, we did have the manual on-off switches, which we still do have connected to this setup. Um, if you look at this nether rack jacketed wire, you'll see that the top of the AND gate is getting a signal. But we don't always want that to be on. So we're going to turn this switch on, this switch on. Right now we're in the dormant state, and it's going to flip on. In a second, there we go, the power goes through this red jacketed wire, and we have eight reactors putting out 720 EU per tick, and they're perfectly safe. So this is our setup, and this allows us to continue to make UU matter at an extremely high pace, even when it's nighttime and the solar panels are not collecting any energy. So there we go, this is how we've gotten a load of UU matter and the UU matter goes into back into our system hello Ingram and there we go there we have it completely legit power providing tons and tons and tons of EU or UU matter perfectly safe even though it catches fire sometimes there we go so this is our server. Hope you liked it. There'll be more videos coming soon of what the rest of the machines in this place do. And uh, hopefully you like our channel. If you do, subscribe and keep following us. Thanks for watching.